Yeah. Now, Tiny is a way to do that. Of course, getting agony. You got, you got Fly in a little bit of trouble here. He's eating a lot of harassment. Arcane Bolt does fly out, and it does use his salve to survive. But now he's down some serious regen. Yeah, that really hurts. Six tangos left. Oh, There's your first him. blood. He steps back. Arcane Bolt. Just Simba just doesn't even know when it's a good time to engage. Oh, uh, top lane. I'm seeing a lot of clusters here. They got the net. They got the poofs. They're popping up right now. Right clicks. Sedoi's going to be forced to charge at least out and away to the low ground here. Auto attack the mid will lane. Connect, but he does go down to the oh. Maldi. All right. Well, that charge actually but smart yeah, play from Sedoi, though. He goes around the backside. You don't see this coming so often exist. He'll get silenced. Now charge. Not going to be able to scoot away, but the fissure again breaks things up. Sedoi already level 6. Throws out the nether strike. They've got the lantern for that last little bit of damage. Meepo will come in. Sedoi getting chased down as Fly joins the party. He'll rendezvous with his teammates and perhaps make it out. Wisp trying to buy him some space. He does have a salve. It gets ticked off by the Maledict, but he does live through it. Oh, or did I speak too soon? Long range fissure. Lena now joining the party. That's a light strike array. Laguna Blade to bring down the Meepo, they've lost their Skywrath, but it's a one for two. They get two of the cores for it. They could uh, quickly raid on his parade. Yeah, that's the scary thing. Of course, they're not privy to that ward placement, but Virtus Pro Classic a step ahead. They know it's something the title will rely on. He will burn a defensive ravage as they dive the tower. Some TP is coming in. Hani is nearby. There is a Laguna Blade available. And it looks like BZZ just trying to get in a more defensive position. The Skywrath Mage, Yol, doing a lot of damage. Lena may be wishing that she didn't make her exodus so early, but incomes exist. He'll go scooting through. Fly just barely lives on about 75 hit points. Meanwhile, BZZ, Laguna Blade onto the Meepo. That's what I'm... Even just for the Meepo. Now, Lena's in some trouble now. Exists. Solly was weak and just walks down to the bottom lane, finds an easy pick, and we'll just walk. Lena getting all that solo farm more than halfway to level 10 through 9, so we'll have that level 2 Laguna Blade pretty soon, and I reckon an Aghanim Scepter will oh come boy. out at some point this game. They see him. Hey, uh -oh. nice stack you got going there, buddy. Mystic Flare up your ass. See at ya. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> now that's my stack. Now, oh god, that is not good for Fly, uh -oh. but here we go. Exist shows up, says you're not going to get away with this, but he's able to tether over to Tiny. The burst is going to be there, and Hani gets annihilated. Now it's Sedoi who comes in. Maldic's going to be dropped. It doesn't seem to quite connect, however, so G is going to get the hell out of there. Here comes BZZ, so Meepo might not want to overcommit. So by deduction, Watermelon, I see ya. They move forward. There's going to be Yule's easy setup for the stun. Ancient Seal, see you later, buddy. So that is a Blink Dagger going to be prolonged that much longer. And just maybe part of the problem with these Tidehunters nowadays. You play a hero so much, you see it in the meta. So this team is having a Blink Dagger Tide to set everything up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and this Meepo has just been shut down at every turn. The Lena Skywrath roaming duo is particularly potent. Huge burst damage once you get a Yule's. Very easy to set up. Down in the bottom lane, Sedoi will get initiated on by Exist, but he does have support nearby. Relocate coming on down. Can they find the oh. kills? They'll lose the Wisp as well as the Spirit Breaker. Huge dunk from Hani. And a long Death Ward as well will make this a victorious fight for Meepond. It's just so core to give you that initiation. Jump in from long range, do that big burst damage. BZZ finds a setup on the Witch Doctor, blinks away, relocate, coming in, here we go, the Whopping Willow is here, Weeha takes a Laguna Blade, they find the kill on that one, but Jotam gets isolated and brought down, now the Death Lord, pushing back the Tiny, and Maledict may be enough to bring him down, it will, 400 damage on that last tick, they trade one for two, Tiny and Wisp for just the Wisp, I think Virtus Pro, Bo, doing a lot of damage here, doesn't even need Minus Armor to bring down Roche, those little shovels hit harder than you'd think, they're going on to exist, but he's okay, he's got the Flame Guard to keep him alive, Roche goes down, G, still alive for now, Death Ward though from the back, doing a lot of damage, they end up getting the kill on the Ember Spirit, they end his dominating streak, so there is a victory found, but not the victory they were hoping for, near it actually is, yep, there's the ultimate orbs, looks like Manta will just be the natural transition. Plink Dagger also up on the Meepo, as you were mentioning. So now having some more bursts, some more mobility. Exist gets charged by Sedoi, stunned from the high ground. Nether Strike and Laguna. Relocate will be a little bit late. They'll find the Meepo. But are they going to be able to get much out of this? Only five seconds till they relocate back. Maybe it's enough time. Meepo in some trouble. That'll be the end of the Aegis. Does the Wisp take the Tiny back? No. Breaks the Tether. Now G will get left behind. Four heroes in this bottom lane. It could make a flank here. A relocate defense could be necessary, but they are going to cross past. Weepo's going to scout him on out. Ravage will connect on both. They focus fire the tiny. 
Jarvis trying to get the relocate. Can he save his buddy? He does not because the BKB. But it was a BKB that allowed him to escape. Death Ward was even committed there at the end, unfortunately, for the Witch Doctor. But regardless, they take no one at the expense of that Ravage and that Death Ward and the rotation. Now in the mid, Sedoi finds Hani, starts giving him the lantern. And Hani takes the high ground. We'll be okay for now. The Ember Spirit did complete his Battle Fury. Back towards the top lane. Jotam. Yeah, he's in a little bit of trouble. Tries to TP out. Caught by the Ensnare. Caught by the Coconut. They will get a freebie onto Jotam. Back towards... It actually seemed like they almost forgot that Jotam was coming back. But he yeah. did show himself. Uh-oh. Oh, Yol gets cut. Very wounded here, but wants to be there for the party. And there's going to be the Laguna. Even the Skywrath Mage Joel getting involved. But here we go. Here comes Meepo, but he gets stunned instantly. And here comes the right click. He just Ooh. gets annihilated. There was a Meepo there? I don't think so. I don't think so. He is dead now. Oh, nice Fisher from the high ground is going to finish off the Skywrath Mage. Goodness. That's an easy little pick. Meanwhile, Radiant Secret Shop. They find Sedoi. He BKBs. Concussive hits Yapsor. He's going to get another struck. Lena nearby as well. Hits him with a light strike array. They will bring down the Witch Doctor. Now They're the blink forward from BZZ. What can they do? But yeah, meanwhile up top, it's G going ham on this top lane of Barracks. Meepo buys back. But can they actually punish this? Looks like they will find Jotam. Misses the avalanche, but there's a double damage rune on Tiny. This oh is not God. a guy you want to square up against. Now it's a dieback from the Meepo. G still alive, going in hard. There's your Ravage, but there's just no follow-up. Okay, there's one sleight of fist, but it doesn't do a hell of a lot. Hani comes in on the backside, trying to isolate Sedoi. That won't happen. It keeps, uh, well, it does not keep Exist alive. Secures the kill, and this is turning into a disaster for our dire team. They lose that top lane of barracks. Mid will be safe as there's a tier two, but G goes straight to the bottom, pops his Manta, and now this bottom tier three under heavy assault. Whoa, it's a buyback from the Ember Spirit now. That'll push back G. Can they actually find a kill? He's got the combo. Out comes the Avalanche. Searing Chains, now a BKB utilized. And Tiny will just walk back to safety. Happy with a top lane of barracks and a successful team fight. Oh. Okay, bit more trade right there, but it is going to create the space for Virtus Pro to get the hell out. My god, with that DD, it only took like eight swings total to finish off the defense. Yes, sir. Sedoi, he moves into the Vladimir's offering now, gets initiated on the mid lane. Hani goes in, a solo dunk, a Death Ward utilized, two big ultimates that they might need to hold the high ground. BZZ with the BKB on, trying to do some damage to the Meepo. They will get a kill on the Witch Doctor, but now Yol stuck inside of the net. G coming in to save his friends. He's isolated a Meepo. He's trying to give him the branch. A toss up, Laguna Blade on another. The Meepos fall. They will have to trade their Skywrath Mage off to the side. It's a three for two in this cluster of a fight, but G is the one that's still alive with the big damage as he presses forward. BZZ finds Hani on the back line, and yep, that'll be another kill for him. So three to three trade. It's pretty good for me, Pond, all things. Um, but the Glyph is going to be forced to be popped out. They need to defend this. If they lose, it's over for game one. Maldick's going to catch him early. They need to do the damage. Ravage is going to be there. They need to try to burst him down. And the Ward! The Ward is adding a huge defense factor here from your Witch Doctor. Laguna Blade, though, is going to finish off the Meepo. Now, Sedoi, in the midst of the fight here, going to be brought down on the back end. Oh, Witch Doctor barely able to sidestep that, but here we go. Echo on the return. They get Skywrath Mage. G, one of the big lone titans left, but that's your raid boss right there. And they can't do anything about it. Boom! He takes out the racks and now has his eyes on the bottom lane. It was a strong defense from Meepo, but they still got what they wanted. He takes <laughs> it's it just G. Like, Look cool, at guys. this guy. Cool. I'm, still gonna, I'm just going to get these racks. So let me just manage real quick. That <laughs> racks is mine. You, you want to fight now? Oh, you want to fight? Well, you know what? Get, get the hell out of here. Boom! And Exist is like, Jesus what? Christ. What can we do? This is He's tiny like, versus is the world mate. right now. Oh my god, they isolated him in Yules. Now a TP in from the tide. He tosses it back, says, get out of my face, son. He will eventually go down, but G does so much damage before he falls. He forces a buyback on the Tide Hunter just by his lonesome. Almost forces them into Mega Creeps. Only one melee rack still standing. Of course, VP Polar. Not, oh god. Birth Hero Slight on top of that. And then the Death Ward, maybe an Echo Slam. They hit like the perfect combo. They can fend this off, but they don't have a Glyph. That's the really scary part. And Tiny can just run into the, these Manta Illusions. They're going to soften it up a little bit. And now he'll just move on in. BKB still being held. Hani goes in, uses his uh, ultimate very early. The Death Ward doing a good bit. The Ravage flying through. Tiny, he's trying to tank the Death Ward, but it might not work out oh. for him. Meepo goes down. So does the Tiny. It's a two for two right out of the gate. And now BZZ on the retreat just barely blinks back to safety. Sedoi will be overcharged and head back. Oh. Now a buyback from Tiny. BOT's in. He's got a Daedalus now. 
He's ready to continue on, knowing that they don't have buybacks on either Meepo or the Earthshaker. Well, Earthshaker, they know about Meepo, actually just short gold, but now the barracks will 100% fall. No glyph. Smart buyback usage there from G. And now our final fight starts. The Refresher Ravage comes out. Will lock Sedoi in place. He may, away, may well fall. Down he goes, but G goes in. Combo onto the Witch Doctor. Now the Tide. He'll get pushed back to the well, and Wisp Balls will finish him off. Now exist. He's that last target. He goes down. The full five-man wipe comes out. GGs are called, and it's Virtus Pro that takes game number one, 34 to 30, in 42 minutes of gameplay. Yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a solid first-round defense there at the end, but pretty much Virtus Pro had their own bootleg of an Aegis. They had enough funds in the pocket of Tiny where they could just simply do the, the boots of travel buyback. So even though they put out all they could,